I am James the Man's Man, and welcome to another exciting episode of The Man's Garage. This week I have a small project video for you, and what we're going to be doing is installing a mailbox on the side of the house. Now, the community that I live in, and I'm sure many of you live in similar communities, where your house doesn't even need a mailbox because you have group mail. I go down the block, I get my mail, it's inconvenient. What this is for is for flyers, and um, my wife happens to be part of a mom swap group, and I'm sure many of you have wives who do the same thing. And it's more convenient to say, when you're trading articles of clothing for your children, to say, oh, it's in the mailbox, we won't be home today, feel free to just pick it up. So we recently moved to a house that doesn't have a mailbox, and that's why I'm installing this mailbox today. Now let's see what's in the box. All we get in here is a simple mailbox. It's protected in its plastic wrap. There's a little bit of tissue paper here and two screws. Now the box does say it does not include mounting hardware. So I'm assuming that these screws are just to hold it down here and here. So maybe the wind doesn't blow it or whatnot. Back here is where the real screws go in to mount it. And what we'll be using to mount it is I have a plastic anchor kit that's meant for drywall or masonry. So we're gonna be using these screws in here, in the wall, outside. And I'm gonna be using these blue plugs. Now it is a brick wall that this is gonna be mounted into. So for this job, you're gonna need a hammer drill. You may need a hammer to push the plug into the wall. And then we'll switch from a drill bit to a screwdriver bit to run the, the screws in. After we have it mounted into the wall, then we're gonna also add the, the screws at the bottom to hold it down. So the back of the box gives us a template. So we're gonna cut this out, hold it up to the wall, and drill our holes here with the hammer drill so we can hang up the mailbox. Okay, now that I have my template cut out, what I like to do is I like to make sure that the template actually matches the product. Um, I've had a couple experiences in the past where the templates have been off and it's caused me to have to drill extra holes into, into the house. So I knock out the holes and I'm just going to use some chopsticks or you can use whatever you have lying around to just make sure that the holes in the cardboard actually match up to the holes of your product. And if it didn't include a template, this would be a great way of making your own template. Because now I know that these holes actually do line up with the holes in the mailbox. Now it's time to take this outside and put it on the wall. So we have our hammer drill, and right now it's set to drill. So we're going to turn this to hammer, and we're going to make sure we have it set to speed setting 1, which is low speed, high torque. Now I have the template taped to the wall, and um, I didn't do the straightest job cutting the template out, but I have the template roughly leveled with the top of the brick. And I took a tape measure and I made sure it's pretty close to center. I threw it up, I measured it, it was about close. So I like where it's going to go. So I'm going to take the hammer drill, I'm going to put it into the hole. And when I start drilling, it's going to engage a hammer action that's going to beat the drill bit into the wall. The spinning is basically just to clear the dust. All right, so after a couple minutes of drilling, uh, and the template came off the wall while I was doing it. It got loose from the tape and it fell down, so I just moved it out of the way. And I drilled my hole, I inserted my wall anchor, and I, I screwed the template to the wall. I put the tape back up here to hold this side. Now I'm going to put the drill back into this side, just like before, and I'm going to start drilling. Now what I did, though, was the drill bit, I started using the drill bit that came with the anchors, and it sucked. So then I switched to a to the drill bits out of my actual masonry bit set that worked better. But then I stopped about halfway through and thought, well, what if I did a smaller hole? So I did a one eighth hole first and it went through like butter. Then I went for my quarter inch hole. And I'm going to repeat that process in this hole. So now that I got my little mark here, I'm going to switch to my one eighth bit and I'm going to put it into the center there and I'm just going to drive her in and then I'm going to switch back to the quarter inch. Uh, the reason that I did it like this is usually I'm more used to working with metal and you can use a center punch. To be honest, I don't know if you can use a center punch on brick. I guess you could mark it with something, but I kind of just did my quarter inch hole, started it out there, and now I'm going to run it in with a 1.8 and I'll switch back to the quarter inch. 
Okay, so now we got our hole finished. We're gonna take one of these anchors, tap a tap a tap a. Now we're gonna grab some screws. We switch to a screwdriver bit. You don't want to put them all the way against the wall or the mailbox won't fit. Okay, now take the mailbox, line it up. And now, and now, we have a hung up mailbox. I am James the Man's Man, and thank you for joining me on this episode of The Man's Garage. Today you saw how to install a simple mailbox onto a brick wall. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up, and if you like my channel, subscribe. If you want to help contribute to this channel, please feel free to look in the description for my Patreon links and my Teespring links. Thank you very much, and have a good day.